This is something that uh, I really like on Nikon, and anybody would like it. It's a superior. Something that Fujifilm should actually incorporate is their diopter control adjustment. On uh, Fujifilm, the knob is just actually hanging out there. They should have some sort of uh, locking mechanism so that you actually can't place your hand up here, and I don't have that issue myself. Well, I've done it a couple times. But it can happen in a bag or, you know, and obviously it doesn't take more than a few seconds to readjust. But there should be, like on the Nikon system, the adapter knob needs to be pulled out before it's actually adjusted. And there is absolutely zero cost expenditure that I can actually see in actually making that design change. Uh, maybe Fujifilm should consider doing that on their future cameras. It uh, would be a much better idea than it currently is, where you need to pull this out, then turn it, then put it back into place so it can't be accidentally, you know, altered by hand or a camera bag motion or movement. So this is a suggestion for Fujifilm. This is a superior idea. Why do you not have a pull out and adjust and lock into place diopter adjustment? There's, there's no logical reason for that. Some might say that there's actually more space in the DSLR and the pentaprism hood than there is on the Fujifilm because there's actually an electronic viewfinder which is basically a miniature television screen. But the actual mechanism necessary to uh, cause this to be adjusted would not change the weatherproofing on the camera in any way, shape, or form nor would it require more space. The mechanism could easily be changed such that uh, you would need to be lifted and adjusted rather than just turned and always be open for turn. So, how's that sound, Fujifilm? Fujifilm did change their lens cap based upon my recommendation. Well, Fujifilm lens caps used to be obnoxiously horrible. This is why <laughs> all my old Fujifilm lenses have old Nikon caps on them, lens caps. The Fujifilm lens cap was absolutely horrible. And a guy, and I told this story in a video, it's kind of embarrassing, a guy who met with a Fujifilm executive in Japan, she told some design exec that the, you know there was this guy on YouTube complaining and I was right about how horrible their lens cap design. <laughs> and I made, I forget the guy's name, I used to know the guy's name. He went back to the drawing board and he was really pissed at me and uh, they, <laughs> they changed their lens cap design based upon my nasty rant. This isn't a nasty rant video. Um, but I was right on that. Fujifilm's lens caps were horrible, beyond horrible. Now they're completely different. They are, this is the new cap design, which is, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, well, it's kind of like Nikon, but different, kind of like Canon, but different. But the old one, yeah, well, it had that raised bump in the middle. You, you just looked at that lens cap and it would just fall off. And this creates an issue for scratching the front element since most people don't have filters on the front elements. And a good lens cap is a good thing. So maybe Fujifilm could design that on the, change that design for their future cameras on their diopter adjustment control knob. Not that it's a serious issue or anything, but it should be changed. Thank you for watching Fujifilm. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna watch this. Actually, they do. I've actually been told that they do watch. Sorry about that. Maybe I should put down a button-down shirt and, like, hide my tattoo. Nah, everybody knows I got tattoos. Nobody gives a damn. Fuji. Fuji film, by the way, full disclaimer, does not like it when you say Fuji. Because Fuji doesn't refer to anything specifically. You have to call him Fuji film. So Fuji film does not like being called Fuji. I've been told that specifically, and for obvious reasons, and I know the reasons why, because there's Fuji underwear, Fuji lollipops, and there's all sorts of things called Fuji. There's only one Fuji film. That's why Fuji don't like being called Fuji. Fuji film wants to be called Fuji film, not Fuji. In case you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>